so Harry Potter lived under the stairs of some relatives of his. Alright, that's how this shit starts, from what I can tell. They were not nice to him. Maybe parents died tragically, that sounds like maybe, or long, whatever. He gets an invitation at some point to go to Hogwarts, the wizard school there. I know there's a train platform with a fraction in it. Trouble seems to follow him, from what I can tell. Just the time that you happen to be here happens to be when this great evil is here. And what's that? You're the one who can save it? Okay. He does something and gets a, a lightning bolt scar on his head. He, I, I don't know, I guess maybe, like, did a spell and that was, like, too much, too much for him. It must have been an electrically derived spell, because there's lightning, right? <laughs> Gotta be right. Okay. A friend specifically mentioned that there is a room in this magical wizard school. Whatever you need when you pass by it or find it is what's in the room. He remembered bedchambers and passed it on to me, but I didn't. They play Quidditch, or Kidditch, as I would guess to pronounce it based on how I've seen it. People in our school play it, and our friend plays the golden snitch. More of an object than a person, but for the purpose of playing the game in real life, has to be a person, and I know that he runs across campus, which is a really silly name. <laughs> snitch. I remember hearing something about a basilisk. I feel like that's an, ar an enemy that's already been bested, so I don't think I'm going to see it again. Yeah, he's got friends. I know one of them's a ginger. Everyone's, everyone's more or less humid, from what I can tell. There's some boys and girls. I'm sure there's romantic interest. There has to be, because they're adolescents. I've heard the name Malfoy tossed around, and it's got Mal in it, so it's got to be a bad guy. Although Captain Al is not bad. Oh, hold on, no, there's another bad guy name that I know I've heard. And I've seen pictures of the guy and he doesn't have a nose. And there's no way he's good. No, it'll come to me. I saw a couple of those the, the Harry Potter puppet pal things, though. And they all say names. Harry Potter, Snape, Severus Snape, and Dumbledore. Ron Weasley, that sounds familiar. Hermione, I remember that because I had a computer programming teacher who always used that for the names in his variables. It was real weird. What is it with this guy and his name Hermione? What the fuck? That's not even a name. No one has that name. I guess I guess Snape has to be somewhat evil because I've heard I've heard people screaming Snape kills Dumbledore as spoilers to people. And I remember people being super upset, so I assume Dumbledore was good. It's a very friendly sounding name. Kind of a, kind of a yeah, Dumbledore kind of fat and happy name. I know there's another evil name there. The way my old school had different colleges based on sort of what sort of a person they thought you were, they organized you and different colleges lived together. Uh, I think there's something like that in the Harry Potter universe. Gryffindor sounds familiar. Oh, yeah, they're wizards, so they have wands. No monocles, from what I can tell, which... Um... Still can't remember the bad guy's name? No, I thought about it too much, so now it's just, like, on the tip of my brain and will not come out. I'll, th I'll think about it at 3 o'clock tomorrow okay. morning. I'll even leave a spot. Oh, yeah, I just remember the guy's name. It's... <laughs> well, it's... <laughs> it's got to take place kind of in the past, because no one's... Shooting the bad guys? I don't know, there's trains though, so it can't be too far in the past. I know there's a weird little hobbly creature. What's your adjective? A hobbly. <laughs> hobbly? Hobbly? A hobbly little creature that I've seen hobbling around. I feel like I've seen a short video clip of someone holding him up dead. Uh, What's his name? You know? Uh, you know, I feel like it sounds like hobbly. <laughs> oh, the plot? Is that what you guys wanted? Um, there's gotta be some kind of like evil wizard, maybe a haunted house involved there somewhere. I don't know, maybe it's the same evil wizard throughout all the books, through the whole story, or maybe new ones come up each time, James Bond style. I'm sure that Harry Potter and his friends are all developing as wizards and using their powers for good and occasionally making mistakes and learning life lessons, and maybe they kill off a couple of the side characters from time to time. But, I mean, they better be good wizards, because otherwise, you know, they don't know how to balance a checkbook or anything. Like, I wonder how many of the things they're doing they think are magic, but it's actually just science that they don't understand. <laughs> I put this seed in this dirt, what? and then I wave the wand over, and then a couple weeks later there's a tree. I'm sure they must learn, like, these are the dark arts, never practice them, and then some kids are like, oh, we're doing the shit out of this. <laughs> we're doing this every day. I remember them sounding like fake Latin. Spelliarmus something. <laughs> Luna something? I'm Love good, is that it? I'm good with names, except for that one evil guy. He's not important though, right? He's a pretty minor character. They fly around on brooms, I guess. Wizard style. Isn't that what witches do? That's cheating. Draco? Yeah. That's, a, that's hey. an evil... His whole name is evil sounding. <laughs> do you know if it's Malfoy Draco or Draco Malfoy? I'm gonna guess Draco Malfoy. Draco, it's a very draconian name. Um, really? <laughs> yeah. I've tried to watch people play it once. There were three hoops that they were trying to throw shit through. I feel like they were throwing kickballs. He's got glasses and probably wears a robe. Do they wear the hats? The pointed sorcerer's apprentice. I was a, a, a big dude with a big beard. That guy 
who was in Love Actually is in it somewhere. He played the voice of God in Dogma. He was, he was the tin old king. Not the rock star in Love Actually, the guy who cheats on his wife, or is about to cheat on his wife. Spoilers. Yes, oh. Alan Rickman. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to talk, I don't want to talk to him, I want him to talk at me. I I'm sure they must have other nutty teachers, potentially able to teach them dark arts. And like, don't use this, but I totally do. I don't know, I'm sure there's mistaken identities and disappearing people and potions. And animals, there's gotta be owls in there. Wizards love owls. Dobby, is Dobby the name of the hobbly little yeah, thing? Yeah, That's kind of like an animal. Um, Thank you. No, is, oh, is it like a deformed human and I just crossed a major line? I'm sorry. Um, that got, that got tense. Probably some salamanders in there. The name like Gryffindor, if a griffin doesn't show up eventually. That's going to be a pretty huge disappointment for everyone involved. Their house unicorn. A sorcerer's stone. A quest where they have to go and get a sorcerer's stone, and I'm sure it solves some problem and starts a new one. Chamber of Secrets. A room with things that people generally don't know. Prisoner of Azkaban. I remember that one because I remember thinking it was a very kind of Middle Eastern sounding thing. I was like, this is this book political? So either this person has to be... Killed or rescued, I'm sure. Or maybe both. Did one of the titles have Phoenix in it? That's all I got. How many books are there? Seven. Jeez. Harry Potter and the... Ah. I know the author was homeless when she wrote it. J.K. Rowling. Does one of them have death in it? Yep. Oh yeah, Death, Deathly Hallows. Now I won't walk into the wrong movie on accident. Again. Wizards. I don't know, do they work in unions or guilds? Are they solving the world's problems? Are they like NASA scientists? So I don't know whether these wizard people live in like the real world and just no one knows there's wizards or maybe they do know they're wizards and this is some alternate universe which is like, yeah, wizards. Hufflepuff, that's a thing. Is it one of the houses? Yep. Oh yeah. Muggles. Muggles are people who aren't wizards, right? Mm -hmm. Slang term for muggles? Yeah. That sounds like a pretty slangy term already. Wandless Wonders? Don't worry, I'll be homeless soon, and then I'm, I'll write the crap out of a wizard book. Each one of the books is gonna be two. <laughs> Harry Potter and whatever the first one's called, two. Harry Potter and whatever the second one's called, two. Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part Two, two. Are they all British, pretty much? British people, like, initial, initial, last name. Like J.K. Rowling and Gerald Tolkien and C.S. Lewis. Clive Staples, great name. I'm sure there's, like... Lots of houses in there. They're covered very briefly in the beginning, and then they only get into detail about four or five. That's how I would write a book, because I'm lazy. Oh, Hufflepuff okay. sounds silly, I know that. So I feel like they're goofy people. And Gryffindor sounds pretty epic. Like the Ender's Game, where they all have the different armies. You know who the leaders are. Each army kind of has a few characteristics, but mainly it's Dragon Army and all the other armies. So you remember the bad guy's name? I don't know, snake noises are coming to mind, but I got nothing. Does this place have electricity, or did it use candles? Let's see, Harry Potter is played by that guy who ended up being in that play where he got naked. <laughs> Daniel Radcliffe. Got naked before his name. Hermione is Emma something. Really, is there anything other than Alan Rickman? No. Yet. I don't know whether they eat normal food. I do know that people wear the shit out of Harry Potter scarves, so I don't know if scarves are a big thing in this movie. Or if that's just a marketing thing that just got out of hand. Is it Watson last name? Mm -hmm. Emma Watson? Alright. Is Slytherin a thing? Is that another one of the houses? The house? That's that's gotta be a bad one. <laughs> that's come on. It's got Slytherin. I see that's I knew there I knew there was something about snake noises. If that one's not evil, I'll make a hat out of something edible and I will eat my hat. <laughs> uh... <laughs> <laughs> Goblet of Fire. Maybe it's like Indiana Jones where the goblet itself is important, maybe it's what's in the goblet. I wouldn't guess that it's a goblet made of fire. Perhaps a goblet that's in fire or has fire in it. Uh, flame shot style. Uh, <laughs> quest item that they gotta go and find, and maybe drinking from it gives them superpowers. <laughs> Wizard style. Voldemort.